Welcome to Shanti Peace for Mathematics. In this video, we are discussing about the Fourier series of the function exponential e power x in the integral minus pi to pi, which is a periodic function. As we know that the Fourier series of the function f of x is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity an cos nx plus bn sin nx is there. Where this a0 is defined as 1 upon pi minus pi to pi f of x. f of x we have e power x dx. So it is 1 upon pi. The integration of e power x is e power x and the limit is minus pi to pi. So that's why it is e power pi minus e power minus pi. If you just divide and multiply by 2 here, so we have, we know that the sine hyperbolic of x is e power x minus e power minus x by 2. So this value is nothing but the 2 times hyperbolic of x. So that's why it is 2 by pi sine hyperbolic of pi. So that is the value of a0 we have. Next, en that we know that it is 1 upon pi minus pi to pi f of x cos nx f of x is e power x into cos nx dx is there now how to integrate this we cannot use here integration by part due to the mm, this is never ending process in that in that situation and probably you know this formula e power ax into cos dx dx this is e power ax upon a square plus b square into a cos bx plus b sin dx. So due to this formula of integration, we can calculate this integration that is 1 upon pi. Instead of a we have 1 and instead of b we have here m. So it is e power x upon n square plus 1 square which is 1 inside bracket we have a is 1 so it is cos nx plus b is n so it is n into sin nx and the limit is from minus pi to pi now let us try to substitute the limits here we substitute pi here it is e power pi n square plus 1 cos n pi will there cos n pi is minus 1 raised to n so that's why it is minus 1 raised to n sin n pi is 0 so that's why it is plus 0 then it is minus e power minus pi upon n square plus 1 cos n pi again and cos n one function so it is again minus 1 raised to n and sin of sine of n pi or minus n pi will become 0 so that's why that term is also 0 and you just know that what is the quantity is common out from this the quantity is common out is minus 1 raised to n upon n square plus 1 is common out into pi is already there e power pi minus e power minus pi is will left inside but as we have discussed earlier in the previous page that sine hyperbolic of x is e power x minus e power minus x by 2. So it is e power pi minus e power minus pi will be 2 times minus 1 raised to n upon n square plus 1 into pi sine hyperbolic of pi. That is the value of an we have. Now let us calculate what is bn. As for the formula, it is 1 upon pi minus pi to pi e power x sine nx dx. So, as for that, the integration of this integration e power ax into sine dx dx is e power ax upon a square plus b square inside bracket. We have a sin dx minus b cos dx. Due to this, we can write down this is e power x upon 1 square plus n square. 
and inside bracket we have this a which is 1 sin nx minus b which is n cos nx and the limit is from minus pi to pi again if i substitute this value of pi we have e power pi 1 plus n square sin n pi is 0 here we left is n into minus 1 raised to n then it is in between minus sign if I substitute that value minus pi there we have this e power minus pi upon 1 plus n square sin n pi is again 0 and cos n pi will become n into minus 1 raised to n but it is of minus sign so that's why it is minus minus become plus and this you just note that this 1 upon n square is common out n is common out so it is n into n upon pi into 1 plus n square and if I take minus is also common and minus 1 raised to n is also common then we will have with e power pi minus e power minus pi so hence we have the answer is n into minus 1 raised to n plus 1 sine hyperbolic of pi 2 times upon 1 plus n square into pi that is the value of bn if you substitute this value of a0, an and bn into the series we get our required Fourier series which is f of x is equal to 2 by pi a0 by 2 so that's why it is 1 by pi sine hyperbolic of pi plus summation n running from 1 to infinity 2 into minus 1 raised to n upon pi a to 1 plus n square sine hyperbolic of pi to cos nx plus summation n running from 1 to infinity 2n into minus 1 raised to n plus 1 upon pi into 1 plus n square sin hyperbolic of pi into sin nx that is the required answer so that's it for this video if you like this video please press the like button if you have any comment suggestion or question please drop down in the comment box below see you in the next video till then bye bye